So this poem was a commission by the Institute for Conflict Resolution here in, in Belfast. Um, they invited six writers to compose a poem in response to a particular location on the Ards Peninsula, and I was given Grey Abbey, about which I knew very little at that time. So as I sort of drilled down into the history of the place, I found that it had been established by a Freca de Courcy, who is, was the wife of John de Courcy, the Anglo-Norman um, adventurer. Um, so this was my sort of biography or series of questions about Afreka, um, and it's called Afreka and the Rooks. In a thicket of question marks, where can a noble woman turn to speak? When you prayed for landfall and unwrecked, the ship streamed into salvation. Through the storm's teeth, whose voice did you hear in canting? Manister Leah, Manister Leah. Did you promise Grey Abbey to God, a gesture of thanksgiving, or take the chance to stake a place of your own, bolt hole halfway between Dundrum and Carrick Fergus, one castellated stronghold and the next? Afreka, Gaelic, Saxon, Scottish. Afreka, small hill of reproach. Godred's daughter, de Courcy's wife. What did the locals, the blow-ins, the holy men make of your outlandish name? What did it mean to marry a Norman knight, maverick mercenary, the Earl of Ulster, who ate and slept in his armour, the most devout warrior in Christendom? What price to you his kingdoms? Where was he warring while you praised the yew trees and welcomed the white monks from Cumberland? All that singing all that silence. When they raised the crossing tower, the paved cloisters, appointed the chancel's lancet windows, did you fear erasure? Restless on moon nights, did your green skirts hemline dust and polish the garden's limit, gathering the medicinal signatures of penny royal, fever few, foxglove? What disturbance made you ask yourself? whose idea were the rooks, their round-the-clock canticles, cherishing oak groves like you cherished salt marsh, samphire, otters, egrets? Did you write, plant, sketch, embroider, alone or in company, saunter solo or flanked by greyhounds, a silver merle, a sable, a brindle blue? What colour were your eyes when you scanned the lock for your Viking father, your Irish mother, the brothers and sisters you wouldn't see again? Was it your wish to be buried here, French barley in your left hand, rosemary in your right, a white shell under your multilingual tongue, and the rooks relentlessly questioning what the gods gave back to you?